What's up, everybody? The CEO, the money maker, the one and only Storm Taker, baby. And it's been a little bit of a while, but we are back. And we're doing some Clash Royale video for today. Guys, I know you already saw the title, but this one will be ranking every single common card in Clash Royale, guys. And fun fact, there's 28 common cards in Clash Royale, guys. So we'll be jumping into my list, ranking them from the my least favorite to my most favorite card, our most used card for some instances. Guys, so be sure to smash that like button and ding a ling that ring a ling. But guys, without further ado, let's jump on into the list and let me start ranking these common cards. Number 28 on the list, guys. I know this one might be a shocker uh, for a lot of people because I know a lot of people like using this card, but personally, I do not use this card. We got the goblins, regular stabbing goblins, guys, coming in at 28. I just feel like I have better options than choosing the goblins. I could probably go with a goblin gang for just one more. I prefer the spear goblins, so that's why I came in at number 28. But coming in at number 27, I know this one might be a shocker too for a lot of people we got the fire spirit i just prefer the other spirits uh more than the fire spirits i feel like i can get more value out of a, a lightning uh, uh electric spirit uh, ice spirit is more uniquely played and that's why i put this one at 27 because i feel like there's a lot of better options for these cards more than using these ones and coming in at number 26 we got the barbarians i'm not talking about the evil barbs guys i'm talking about the normal barbarians i feel like they are easily no i don't feel like they are easily countered by any single troop that has a bit of a splash damage they get taken out so fast i know there are better options out there than a bunch of barbarians that get taken out by a single fire spirit how ironic i put them above the fire spirit coming at number 25 we got minions and these are just the normal minion guys just the three normal little minions that fly around in the air they're similar to skeletons uh they you they're used for drawing troops uh towards them but I just, I, I prefer the bats, the, um, the versatility of the bats, the more bats you get, even though they have less hit points. And plus we have the evil bats now, even though we're not talking about evolutions, but it is still a plus in my book. So this is why I put the minions at 25 guys. Coming in at 24, and this is our first building, guys. I am a fan of building ex buildings, especially defensive buildings. But coming in at 24, we got the motor. I have basically never won or used a deck that has the motor in it. Case closed. I don't think a lot. I know a lot of people that play Clash Royale don't use the motor. When they see the motor get pulled out, they just send a couple minions over there to take it out. And we all hate that motor. Uh, evo tesla deck bro those are the worst so uh, i hate the motor i don't use the motor i don't know how to use the motor good and i don't want to learn how to use the motor good so that's why it's in 24 we got 23 we're getting more down on the list guys we got the royal delivery spell uh, the timing is just always off for me when i'm using this spell i don't know i might need some help with this timing guys but i just feel like i would rather go with a goblin ba a barbarian barrel or go with a standard zap spell or any other spell that does splash damage instead of using the royal delivery and that's why i put it at 23. 22 we got the another building guys that i barely use even though this one it might be a little bit controversial because i find it has a lot of uses but i barely use it myself because this is my list bro it's my list you're in my house so you're gonna get my list so my so 22 we got the cannon uh, this is used to pull hog riders these are the hog rider killers basically right now y'all know it uh, pull hog riders so we don't get that 2.6 uh, deck cycle um otherwise from that i'll use it to pull troops too but i don't find myself using the cannon pretty often i'd rather opt out for another building even though they cost a little bit more elixir like a tesla or a, or a inferno tower number 21 we have the bomber i know this is a shocker sorry i did there because a lot of you guys love the bomber especially that we got the new evil bomber out I just find myself with my pick rate it's not it's not it's it's a card i never think about picking i find that um i found better options even like the number one option 
overall best option to me instead of using the bomber i find uh better splash units i can use than the bomber but i i should put the bomber i should i should give the bomber more love i agree send me some more bomber deck guys in the in the comment section down below and i'll give the bomber more love i barely even try out the evil bomber guys but the bomber deserves love bombers lives matter how many of 20 we have the rascals i remember when the rascals were just introduced in the game we all love them now nah, we all hated them but guys uh they are such a valuable troop to me personally when i play the game i get value out of them splitting them apart split lanes or i get them putting them all together to get it's a pretty easy card to use since you have the rascal boy at front the tank taking all the damage and the girls behind her behind him the archers basically so you get a lot of value out of them i would love to see an evil rascal someday you know turn the turn the rascal girls into archers 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 that, that makes no sense that makes no damn sense bro but y'all get what i'm trying to say let them have that range uh damage thing the archer had i don't know why i'm doing the trigger finger from the streets you know how it is all right so coming in at 2019 we have minion horde and this is one of my this is one of my favorite flying units guys when it comes on to uh doing a lot of damage minion hordes you can pull them out anywhere but you just gotta they're easily countered guys by any single splash damage you get countered they're easy to predict because a lot of people play them the same way so you gotta be a little bit tricky when using minion horde and i just feel like there are multiple ways to counter the minion horde right now 18 we have the goblin gang guys these guys come with spear goblins and also stabbing goblins i find i rather use this more than the normal goblins even though it costs one elixir more i it makes a huge different it, difference in strength you know you you pull up with a goblin gang they know you people know you mean business bro you ain't about to take no you ain't about to take no l's easily you're coming in you're coming in hard to fight baby and that's why i put it at 18. 17 we have our next building with which now has a e the first ever evil building i believe and it is the hidden no it was not the first it was the second i'm stupid the first was an evil mortar all right we have evil hidden tesla i don't know why i say he evil, evil on it the hidden tesla coming at 17 guys hidden tesla at 17 uh i i find it being a more of a valuable building uh the the mechanics of it overall plus we got the new evil version for it which is amazing for hogs because we know we all use buildings for hogs bro we all use buildings for hogs and that one pekka deck uh so it's it's glorious there's nothing more i can say about it y'all know how it works already uh it, it's it's amazing and that's why i put it at 17. 616 we got the skeleton dragons I remember when I just got these bad boys. These guys helped me climb the early days of the ladder once I created my new profile. Uh, they were amazing. They helped me destroy everything. The skeleton dragons are basically, essentially, weaker versions of the baby dragons. But you, you got two of them. You can do. It's so fun because you can do split lane push with these guys. Uh, they're valuable once you keep them alive. They'll take out any other weak units any units that die to splash damage and that's why i feel like they're so versatile to use i had to put them in 16. 15 on the list uh we have the ice spirit i find this being a way better spirit as i said than the fire spirit i can get more value out of it i can freeze a large unit with it um i can hold off till i get my other units to pull up guys and i feel like i can send it send it to the princess tower or aka the cannoneer are the what, what is it called right now? Oh, bro, I'm so lost in this game. What is the new girl? The Dagger Duchess. I don't know nothing about it anymore, guys. I'm, I'm giving up. So I put the Ice Spirit at 15. Coming in at 14, uh, we have the Snowball. And I, use, I barely use this spell, but it has so much hidden potential in it. I could not put it anywhere lower than 14, guys. Um, the pushback, uh, the damage it does and a freezing ability that that's three abilities i named right there and it's not even evil freeze so imagine when we actually get a evil uh snowball guys that's going to be broken we're going to froze the entire freeze the entire map and your mom's basement will be involved in it and that's why i put it at 14 baby 
13 we got these skeletons the skeletons are pretty good unit guys we all know how to use them if you know how to use the skeleton you are a og or a great player period if you know how to pull the prints i've sent in 20 elixir pushes and i got a guy using skeletons one single skeleton to pull my entire army and then i lose if you know how to use them you're a pro that's why they're in 13 12 we got the skeleton barrels guys this is what i love to use myself with the goblin barrel uh once they see the death coming from above they know what's going to happen i feel like it is easily countered but it is used mostly as a distraction and doing like slight pop bop, the pop damage it does to the towers and so i appreciate it i always use it and it's one i'll never stop using so that's why i have it at number 12 and we got the e, my favorite spirit the electro spirit guys what's more clean what's more clean than when you see a electro spirit you play him in the back they send a skeleton horde or something in, and he goes through and destroys everybody zap 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 that's so clean bro you feel badass you feel powerful so how could i leave the electro spirit out of this list baby i couldn't because i'm ranking all common cards but it is just so glorious and for the cost you won't lose bro it's valuable it restarts a sparky you know what happens when a sparky get restarted it gets destroyed like how i destroyed your and coming in the 10th spot we have the elite barbs y'all know the sound bro i'm gonna play it y'all know the sound once you hear that sound you know what's gonna happen you're gonna get your ass destroyed that's okay bro we know you're gonna get your ass destroyed that's enough for it to be in number 10. i know a lot of people would put this at number nine but uh number one but i barely use it so that's why it's at number 10 but i know what it does number nine we have the archers and i find the archers be in so damn valuable you get so much value out of the archers guys once you play them the right way you have the evils now which is one of the best evils one of the most balanced evils that are not broken so i'll take them they're good their versatility what they do playing them behind tanks they're gonna destroy everything don't sleep on the archers and coming in eight we have my favorite flying units uh, the bats i remember when the bats were just introduced i was like oh i can't wait to get a hold of them nah i'm lying i did not even think about that once um i wanted uh, but when i got a hold of them and the evil bats which sucked at the time i still found they were my first evil unit so i had them in basically every deck so i learned how to use them pretty good and i found the value in using them each time when i played them guys so that's why i have it at eight seven we have the holy knight staple of clash royale if you don't know how to use a knight bro delete the game delete the game bro because this is it this is it this is the guy that people play 30 elixir pushes 1 million elixir pushes and you just put him down in the middle he pulls and he takes out everybody this guy cannot die he lives for eternity so you better know how to use him treat him like a queen treat him like a knight see what i did there i know you like that bro i know your mom likes it too. all right let's continue we have sixth place the recruits just much, much like the knights uh when i play the Rook, i feel so confident every time i get to play they recruit because they got a plan a huge huge defense to take out this unit once these units are placed on the map they know what's happening coming there's no time for attacking for them it's only defense and i love putting my ball i love putting people on the defense i love hurting people and i love putting my you know what let's not even say this on live on on live tv television telebroadcast but recruits coming in six and we're down to number five we got the zap spell guys what do i need to say restarts restarts inferno tower restarts sparky app unit takes out splash damage troops um slows them down zaps restarts units the only bro there's nothing more i need to say it is a staple of clash royale and we all know how to use it. It's, simp it's simplicity to use. Its use rate is high. And that's why it comes in and comes in at number five. Number four, we got the Royal Giant. 
I love the Royal Giant. I don't care what anybody says, bro. This is a beautiful card. This guy will shoot a tower from oblivion. Once you play this guy, you know you're getting tower damage. This guy is a guaranteed tower damage. And every time they see that sound, they ain't prepared. They're never prepared. So that Royal Giant is going to come in and it's going to come in hard. And he's going to get that damage off, baby. And that's why we love him. Coming at number three, we have my boys, my day ones, the Spear Goblins. I know. Over the Goblin Gang? Yes. These guys take out here units. These guys pull. These guys are cheap. And I prefer them more than any other Goblins. They do what they're meant to do. They have been a staple in my deck since the beginning of time. I nearly always, every single deck, I basically have these guys in. Because they are wonderful units to pull guys to the next side. And they do damage. Their range is beautiful. Their damage they do to the Princess Tower. I can't even call it Princess Tower anymore. The, 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 the they, them tower um, is beautiful. And so I feel like they have to come in number three because I barely take them out of my deck. Number two, we got the spell that I always use and I always abuse. It is the arrows. I don't know if I'm using them right, but I always send a bunch of arrows with my prince over the wall, over the, the bridge. I don't know. It works 99% of the time. It does. That That's when that's the first strat that came to Clash Royale. My prince over the bridge, arrows and win. That's that's how simple the game used to be. Glorious times. I know. I know. Sucks to be you kids right now. All right. And that's why it got the number two spot. And if it's it's basic math, guys, there's only one single common card missing. And I'm going to get a lot of hate for it. But it's the drum roll, please. I get some drums. I bet your mom at. I bet your. Oh, my. I bet you have some big, big melons. What? All right, guys, so coming in at number one, there was only one option, bro. The Firecracker. The most beautiful, beautiful card in all the game. Guys, this is how it goes. If there is a tank unit in front of the Firecracker and you don't have nothing to take out that Firecracker behind the tank unit, the match is over. Don't let me get started on the Evo. The match is over. And when I mean it, I mean it. The match is over. If you ignore this card, the match is over. That's how good this card is. She's broken. He, got to, he has that not bad damage to protect her from the princess tower, to protect her from slow moving units. Oh, she's just glorious. And this is one card I always think about every time I make a deck. Where am I going to put this card in it? And that's why I got her in the number one spot, guys. Comment down below your favorite list, guys. If you don't want to comment top 28, comment your comment your top 10 i'll be sure to reply and give you my give you my opinion on every one of y'all lists look how they be mobbing bitch we came up from the bottom can't even say the trenches i guess we had it good until they knocked out of the